Is your sense, Anna, that any of the solutions that we're finding in this year, because you talked about food insecurity going way up through the roof and then like the school stepped in and the food insecurity dropped off. Are, are those solutions from a policy perspective that we can look to being part of the future? Or are we going to go back to how it was before? I mean, I am really hopeful and, you know, we live in DC, so we have such an up close view of politics, but I'm hopeful the current administration seems very committed to a very broad expansion of the social safety net, including, you know, tax credits for families with young children, which essentially is a, a cash benefit um, and, and expanded food assistance. So this idea of what Tanya mentioned that they're gonna strip away the vouchers that they gave to high school students um, is seems to be working at cross purposes with what the rest of the administration, the administration is saying about other social programs. I would like to see, I would, I would guess that some of these things are going to stay like more generous food benefits, a, a, a move away from where the last administration was headed, which was, um, you know, very punitive and requiring that families, parents prove work status in order to get a food benefit, which it, you know, had not been conditioned on work before that, particularly parents of young children. Um, so I'm hopeful that that we've gone away from that and that will be that somehow this administration will figure out how to make that hard to undo. Um, but I do I do think that it, if there's a silver lining to this pandemic, particularly for vulnerable low income households, it is that it has made things that some of us always knew were there much more visible. And it has made it clear that some of these problems cannot be solved, but can be, some band-aids can be applied more effectively. 